We're here in Anna Maria Island. This is the Valley High Hotel right behind us. So I've lived in uh, Central Florida for a long time, over 30 years, and I've heard about red tide lots of times over the years. And I know it kills a lot of fish. And I never really knew until recently, started reading that it causes respiratory problems and um, irritation to your nose and throat. I didn't know about that, but we read about it before we came out here this time. And um, we were, we got here, and as soon as we, we drove here from Winter Garden, Orlando area, as soon as we opened the car door when we got to the resort, like you could tell instantly when you breathe, it feels like if you've ever had, um, been downwind of pepper spray, not like pepper sprayed in the face, but if you've just been in a room where pepper spray was sprayed on the opposite side of the room or something like that, like just, it, it's, it kind of uh, has the same effect as a very diluted pepper spray. You have this constant tingle in your throat that, you know, if you let it affect you, you'll just cough and cough and cough. Dad, there's hair in your mouth. There's hair in your mouth. Oh my goodness. So, um, you can get used to it, so it's not, it's not horrible, but it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a damper, and it's, right now where we are, um, the wind is blowing towards us. So I think uh, where we are, we're facing, I'm facing west. I believe I'm facing west, so the wind is blowing east. And um, so the wind is, I don't know, it's been like, it's been like 12 to 20 miles per hour the whole time we've been here. It's been raining on and off. I don't know how long the red tide's been going on, but a lot of uh, times what can happen with red tide is when you go down to the beach in the morning, there's a lot of dead fish littering the beach. Um, here at this resort, I don't know if they're doing a good job of removing the dead fish or there's, there's just not a lot of dead fish, but there are a few. Like my son is uh, going around and burying the few fish that we've seen, uh, pinfish, puffer fish, sheep's head. So there are a couple here and there, um, not really noticeable if you're not looking for them, but if you just go for a long walk, you'll see, you can probably count 10 dead fish in a uh, 15 minute walk or 20 minute walk. So that's it. The red tide can, uh, can give you a scratchy throat, can give you a tingle in your sinuses. A lot of uh, people coughing, not a lot, but just you know, you get that tickle in your throat. So when you're around others, you hear them coughing, which isn't great in a COVID environment that we're still trying to climb out of a COVID environment. Um, but, you know, everyone's making the best of it. So just wanted to share, if you've never experienced red tide, that's what it's all about. I don't know why they call it red tide. It must be red somehow, maybe under a microscope, but you don't see anything red. The water looks normal. Um, so research it, uh, this resort, you know, the pool area, you don't notice it that much because the pool is surrounded by the hotel. Uh, so maybe that blocks the wind. Uh, but here at the beach front, you, you um, can feel it. I would say it's probably an intensity, a, maybe like a two and a half or three on a scale of one to 10 of being unbearable. So uh, that's it, it's noticeable. And it, if you have breathing problems, it might affect you more. I have asthma, but very mild, and I don't really feel any effects of it. Um, but if you're, if you have some other more serious uh, breathing illness, it could create problems for you. So take care.